that joins the sugar nucleotides together. Sugar, talk about sugar, sugar there are of two kinds, mainly ribose and deoxyribose. Ribose is present in case of RNA that is ribonucleic acid and this is ribose because in the 2' position when hydroxyl which is carrying an oxygen atom is being attached with the hydrogen that's why we are calling it as to be ribose. DNA is deoxyribose because there is no oxygen with the hydrogen at its 2' end. That's why it is called as deoxyribose. So this sugar is present in case of DNA. Let's talk about the nitrogenous bases. For the nitrogenous bases, there are two kinds. They can be purines, they can be pyrimidines. Purines, they consist of A and G. A stands for adenine and G stands for guanine. Similarly, pyrimidines, there are two kinds. They can be C, that is cytosine, and T, that is thymine. Purines are double ring structure, whereas pyrimidines are single ring structures. This structure was given by James Watson as his script, and there were certain rules, those were implemented to discuss about the overall structure of the DNA. Rule number one, they are also called as Avery Chekhov's rules. Rule number one, it stands for the concentration of T is always equal to the concentration of A, means thymine are always equal to the concentration of adenine. Similarly, the concentration of C, cytosine, is equal to the concentration of G, that is Y. Rule number two stands for the number of pyrimidines will be equal to the number of purines. Pyrimidines are T plus C and purines are A plus G. So they will be equal. Third thing they have noticed is about the DNA is a highly ordered structure. It is double stranded, that's why we call it as to be a double stranded helical structure. Fifth point is the space between the sub structures is 0.34 nanometer. It is a kind of a right handed structure because it will spiral itself along the imaginary axis in clockwise direction that's why we are calling it as to be a right handed helical structure. Seventh is A will combine with T and E will combine with thymine forming a double bond whereas T will combine with T forming a triple bond. So this bond is more strong as compared to the double bond. And the eighth point they have noticed is the overall structure is anti -parallel. It means the two strands they will run in opposite direction. If one is 5' to 3' another will be in 3' to 5' direction. 5' will be the position of phosphate and 3' will be the position of hydroxyl group and vice versa will occur in the opposite strand. Talking about the types of DNA, mainly there are three types of DNA. Usually the organism are having B type that is more prominent. Talking about A type, it is also right handed like B, having a helix per term 11 and a diameter 2.3 nanometer. B is right handed having helix per term 10 and a diameter 1.9 nanometer and Z it is zigzag in structure, it is left handed, helix button is 12 and the diameter is 1.8 nanometer. So this was all about the basic structure of the DNA. For more details, you can log on to our website www.gurukpo.com. Thank you, thank you.